And burglaries, new pictures and information about crooks that police have, their police are busy. Here's Jim Sidelucky with this week's burglaries and break-ins. Over the past six months, the reports have nearly filled up a notebook. This particular case has taken quite a while and, and the burglaries keep racking up. Detectives working upstairs at the Omaha Police Department have been tracking these suspects for a while. And we've shown you some of their greatest hits. They usually strike three or four targets a night, and they never look rushed or nervous. They're calm while they're inside because they've got to look out. They're using the walkie-talkies the whole time. These are the latest pictures investigators have. They think this guy was casing a beauty supply store the day it was burglarized. He walks around, checking things out, and then makes a small, insignificant purchase. If you recognize him, call police. And if anyone ever looks this suspicious in your store, be vigilant. Anytime you're able to get a license plate number or more vehicle information, turn that into police. Sometimes it's nothing and sometimes it turns out to be the, the lead in the case to, to get the case solved. This case is proving especially tough in part because the thieves might not even live in Omaha. They just come to visit when they're broke. We agree that it seems like they are they're moving. These are the best pictures we have of the suspects. There are at least four of them, and they don't mind being on camera. They never hide their face. This is the only car they've been seen using, a late model white Ford Explorer. In Omaha, I'm Jim Sidelecki, Channel 6 News. Up next, Nebraska's...